Hey everyone, this week we're at the beach and we're doing some macro photography. So I haven't been to the coast for ages, so I thought I'd get out, maybe do some seascapes. However, it is a bit overcast today and I wasn't able to get here at golden hour time. So I thought instead I'll come midday and we'll do some macro photography. I've got Otis with us and we've just had some fish and chips, so we're ready to rock. Let's head down to the beach and see what we can find. So equipment wise, I brought with me the Sigma 105mm 2.8 macro lens and I'm using my Z7 body with the FTZ adapter. I'm using the Z7 because it's got more megapixels, it'll allow me to zoom in later if I need even more closeness for my subject. And it's also got features such as focus shift shooting which is quite good for macro photography. Because the light's not particularly dramatic today, it's going to be all about textures and forms and different patterns that I can find on the beach. Right now I'm down at the sea wall and there's some kind of algae or seaweed on there as well as some little rocks and pebbles that are embedded in the stonework. This might not be the shot of the day but it's the kind of thing I'm going to be looking for with lots of textures, colours, shapes and lots of interesting things going on. Because it is quite dull and overcast today, I am using an LED light just to illuminate my subject. I've talked about using lights before for macro and I'll link up top to that video now. I found a nice little shell here, it's quite interesting. I do want to get some shots from different angles though because I'm doing quite a lot of top down stuff. My uh, tripod doesn't allow me to get to an angle where I can get side on to really low objects. But a bit further down there's some rocky areas and I think I might be able to set up my tripod in such a way that I'm a little bit side on to some of my subjects and that'll give some more interesting angles. I am focus stacking a lot of these shots and that's something I've talked about a lot in my other macro videos. It's basically a process of taking a number of shots in succession at different focus points and then you blend those together later in Lightroom or Photoshop and that just gives you a greater depth of field in your image. 
I'm not going to go into depth about focus stacking now, but I'll link up top to a video about that. And I'm also using a function in the Z7 camera, it's also in some other Nikon cameras, called focus shift shooting. And that just allows you to automate the process so that you take your succession of shots really quickly and it'll stagger them at very precise intervals. And I've got a video on that as well, which I'll also link up top now. One thing I always need to remind myself about when doing macro is to think about composition. It's really tempting with macro just to zoom in on your subject and not really think about how it's placed in the scene. But it's really important, just like it is with landscape or any other type of photography. So what I'm trying to do with this shot here, I've got this really nice rusty bolt and I'm placing the bolt within my frame in different positions. Sometimes I've got it more central, sometimes to the left or the right, maybe on a third line. And I'm hoping that's just going to make a more interesting shot than if I'm just really tightly zoomed in on the bolt itself. Okay, so I'm wrapping up now. I don't think I actually mentioned where I was earlier. I'm at Filey on the northeast coast in England, and it's a fantastic spot for macro photography. The beach here has got some amazing textures and colors and shapes and patterns. And I finished up here in this fantastic area, which has got all these boulders covered in algae and seaweed and barnacles, and it's brilliant. I could spend all evening here, but we've got to get Otis back for his dinner. But I think I've got some good shots. I won't know till I get them on the computer, as I always say, but you'll have seen them throughout the video and hopefully there's some good ones. So that's about it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to do so, you can click down here on the big red button or over here on my face 
And that way you'll keep up to date with everything I'm doing each and every week. There's a new video every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. UK time. So I hope you catch me next week for the next one. And until then, thanks a lot everyone and bye for now.